Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jolie and today is December 27th and I'm back here with our new book, Each Day, New Beginning. And I'm grateful to be here with you and uh, just settling in after the holidays and um, I'm just, I need a reading. How about you? <laughs> so December 27th starts off with a quote from Hannah. Senesh, one needs something to believe in, something for which one can have wholehearted enthusiasm. Can't just, she's scattering. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna read it again. One needs something to believe in, something for which one can have wholehearted enthusiasm. Life offers little if we sit passively in the midst of activity. Involvement is a prerequisite if we are to grow. For our lives purposes, we need enthusiasm and we need enthusiasm in order to greet the day expectantly. When we look toward the day with anticipation, we are open to all the possibilities for action. It's more fun that way too. My, <laughs> my thoughts of that. So we must respond to our possibilities if we are to mature emotionally and recover spiritually. Idly observing life from the sidelines guarantees no development beyond our present level. Yeah. We begin to change once we start living up to our commitment to the program of recovery, healing our traumas and just being present in our lives, taking responsibility for those uh, things that happen in our lives. It's possibilities and our purpose and it's that change many days over that moves us beyond the negative passive outlook of days gone by. My cat is going nuts balls. <laughs> She's in a box of paper. So the program has offered us something to believe in. We are no longer the people we were. So much more have we become. And each day's worth of recovery carries us closer to fulfilling our purpose in life. So I believe in recovery, my own. And when I believe in success, I'll find it. There is magic in believing. But today's conversation I had um, with, with a really good friend that I trust was that um, sometimes I'll, I can witness myself saying things to myself that aren't necessarily true. Like, oh, I never, or oh, that won't work because I, and then I'll go, wait a minute, that's old stuff. You know, that's like going wow, wow, like I'm the victim of myself. And, um, or because I didn't this or I didn't that in the past. And what I found by witnessing that I was doing that, I'm like, I'll stop myself and say, is that true? Is that true? I can see that I have proof that I can manage. I can organize. I can because I've done this, this, and this. So stop, breathe, and know that everything that comes into my, my mind isn't necessarily true. It's good to know. I uh, I spent years trying to think about how I'm supposed to think or am I supposed to come from my gut or my heart or I was like all over the place. Like, how do I make a decision from which way? And it's because of that, um, that uh, those ism thinkings, like those codependent, thinkings that come from growing up in 
um, generations of alcoholic behavior, immature behavior, where they're 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 living through how their emotions are pulling them around instead of um, feeling their feelings, which is different than being ruled by emotions. Uh, at least for me, what I'm coming up with so that I have a different understanding. So feeling my feelings is one thing, honoring that, but not being ruled by how my emotions can just pull me around. And using logic, like that's not true. Don't use, don't have your emotions pulling you around and around. Just like have, have good witness of that. I think that's where journaling is really good just so you can get it out. Having really a good person, people in your life, um, whether that's your therapist. If you don't have people yet in your life, you can have a therapist or a counselor or, um, you know, we can talk on this um, platform here because the comments really supportive people in here. Really appreciate of you. And um, so that we can have the logic of, I am doing good because I just got through this day the best I could. And even though maybe I've learned some things, I still may, you know, have old habits that still kick in. So every day, it's just, we just get through one day at a time. Okay. And that's okay. If we're not okay. So anyway, um, I mean, I know that I'm powerless over other people, places, and things that are outside of me. You know, I can see the good in it or good in them or why, you know, hold out for that time. But if they're being abusive or the situation just doesn't fit my needs at this time, maybe it fit my needs 30 years ago. I'm still holding on to that. Or maybe it will fit my needs 20 years from now. But I have to live in this moment. Like, how is it right now? And if I make a decision, it'll either work out or it won't work out. And I have to be okay with that. So if, as long as I do the homework first, best I can, and then I evaluate logically the reasons why I would be doing this decision, see how it'll affect myself first, and then how it'll affect people outward as, as much as I can know, because I don't know really what will happen once the wheel turns to the right or the left, the front or the up. I mean, like you don't know. It's like if you make a left turn, you know, you get rerouted on the, you know, it'll, you always get rerouted on the GPS. You know, if you're going to a direction and your higher power knows where you're going, ultimately, then I believe that, you know, your GPS will still guide you where you're supposed to go. It may take you a long road or if you're stubborn, you're like, no, I know it's this way. And it'll keep saying, turn left, turn left, turn around, you turn. But if you go far enough off, the path that your GPS told you to go, then you're going to, eventually it'll reroute you again, but then again, the other way, like another way to go. Anyway, road less traveled, <laughs> whatever that is for, uh, whatever you're taking out of that, but I don't know even if that made any sense, but that's where I'm at today. One needs something to believe in something for which one can have full-hearted enthusiasm. Little offers little, life offers little if we sit passively in the midst of activity. So I guess this is just saying, get out there, live life while life is still able to live. 
right? So anyway, you can see my mess in the background. <laughs> Still working it out, but I need a book shelf, but I don't know. It's my organized chaos and I, I like it. Um, and I'm the instigator of that chaos. So it makes sense to me. So anyway, all right. I love you guys. And we're going to say the serenity prayer. Okay. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Please like this video. And um, so other people will find us. It helps the algorithm. And um, there's 365 days plus of readings on this channel. So you just have to go to the main channel page, look in the search button and just click in your date that you want a, a read. Like um, there's uh, Hope for Today, the book. There's All the Course in Miracles are up and um, Courage to Change and One Day at a Time in Al-Anon. There are um, starting readings of, um, uh, let's see, what's the other book that I was reading? There's, um, we're working on the steps, the 12 steps. And um, I believe we're still just on three, but we're, you know, we're going to be moving forward to four. There's a little bit of four. So I noticed that um, that video got a lot of views. So I'm going to get back into that. I have to, I think that book is right back there. And I'll go ahead and get that again. So, all right. I love you guys. I'm going to go take care of my little moon cat because she's skit scatting around <laughs> and um, she's getting used to um, this new place. And um, all right. I hope you guys are doing good. All right. Mm -hmm. And we'll say the serenity prayer. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change, to have the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference one day at a time. Keep coming back. It works if you work it because you're worth it. You're loved. And the universe has plans for us that we don't know. But we'll just keep living life and enjoy and do the best you can, okay? That's all we can do. Much love. Bye.